Hi, boys and girls. It's Mrs. Diveny from Minnesaukee Pre-K. I'm here on Milk and Cookies Night with some of my friends to read you one of my favorite stories. The title of this book is The Dot, and the author is Peter H. Reynolds. So sit back and get comfy, and I hope you like this story as much as I do. The Dot. Art class was over, but Vashti sat glued to her chair. Her paper was empty. Vashti's teacher looked over at the blank paper. Ah, a polar bear in a snowstorm, she said. Very funny, said Vashti. I just can't draw. Her teacher smiled. Just make a mark and see where it takes you. Vashti grabbed a marker and gave the paper a good strong jab. There. Her teacher picked up the paper and studied it carefully. Hmm. She pushed the paper toward Vashti and quietly said, Now sign it. Vashti thought for a moment. Well, maybe I can't draw, but I can sign my name. The next week, when Vashti walked into art class, she was surprised to see what was hanging above her teacher's desk. It was the little dot she had drawn, her dot all framed in swirly gold. Hmm, I can make a better dot than that. She opened her never before used set of watercolors and set to work. Vashti painted and painted. A red dot, a purple dot, a yellow dot, a blue dot. The blue mixed with the yellow, and she discovered that she could make a green dot. Vashti kept experimenting. Lots of little dots in many colors. If I can make little dots, I can make big dots too. Vashti splashed her colors with a bigger brush on bigger paper to make bigger dots. Vashti even made a dot by not painting a dot. At the school art show, a few weeks later, Vashti's many dots made quite a splash. Vashti noticed a little boy gazing up at her. You're a really good artist. I wish I could draw, he said. I bet you can, said Vashti. Me? No, not me. I can't draw a straight line with a ruler. Vashti smiled. She handed the boy a blank sheet of paper. Show me. The boy's pencil shook as he drew his line. He's a little nervous. He didn't have a lot of confidence. Vashti stared at the boy's squiggle, and then she said, Sign it. She wanted to help him feel proud of his work. Just so her teacher had helped her feel proud of her work. Boys and girls, this is one of my favorite stories, and I hope you like it. I hope you enjoyed listening to it, and I hope you have fun listening to the other stories read to you tonight at Milk and Cookies Night. So have a great night, and enjoy the rest of the evening. Bye. Thanks for listening.